Soul Mag TV. Soul Mag TV. Soul Mag TV. What is it? Speaking on urban life. Soul Mag TV. Soul Mag. Soul Mag. Soul Mag TV. Soul Mag TV. Keeping Christ in the center of the conversation. What's up? Welcome everybody to another episode of Soul Mag TV. Speaking on urban life, we're keeping Christ in the center of the conversation. We're so glad you guys are with us. We got some hot artists in store for you guys today. And we're actually here in Tampa, Florida at Crossover Churches, hip hop shop, as you can see. We got tons of music here, tons of clothing, all kinds of magazines, books, Bibles. And I'm super excited today because I'm not doing the show by myself. I have a very special co-host that's joining me today. That's right, my daughter. What's up, Soul Mag TV? I'm Diana, Urban D's daughter. I'm 10 years old, and I really love music. So tell us, Diana, who's some of your very favorite artists? Hmm. Some artists I really like is Lecrae. KB, let me hear that church clap. We did a kids' dance routine for that at the Back to School Jam. And my new favorite, V Rose. I can't wait to meet her at Flavor Fest. I'm gonna hang out with her. So we got an exciting show today for everybody. So Diana, tell them who we have featured on the show today. Who's featured today is two other artists I also really love, AM and Judah. These artists are really diverse. They not only rap, but they also sing. And I mean, they can really sing. On top of that, they do all their own production, their beats, they do all their own mixing, mastering, they actually even do all their own graphic design. I mean, they got it all in-house. And actually, AM has actually recently become our new main graphic designer for Soul Mag, the actual magazine itself. And you can check that out online, download it. So we're super excited to introduce you guys to them today. So ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls. Introducing. AM. All right, so um, yeah, basically Firebrand is uh, it's, it's a ministry. Uh, it started off that uh, we wanted it to act as both a ministry and uh, in a, a sort of label. Um, but we realized early on that that kind of took away from the ministry. Um, we wanted it to be focused on ministry, so it, it, it's become a ministry in itself. And basically, what it is is we want to create a platform by which we can, uh, you know, create unity in the body of Christ, bringing people together and uh, creating original works that do not conform in any way to the patterns of this world. Just a complete, uh, fresh, new look and take on things, combining music with movies, with everything that you can think of. And uh, of course, keeping it all Christ-centered and, and uh, keeping that, that, that scripture of Romans 12 too in mind in general. So. I got my album that I'm working on right now. It's an untitled project, but rest assured it's coming and I'm really excited about that. Um, but on, on a whole, uh, you know, I, I just, uh, I feel like I'm growing in my, in my, in my walk with Christ and, and I feel like my music is maturing along with me. And um, there's a lot of, of myself now being put into my music where before it was, it was more from the outside. Now, now it's me getting in there, really digging in and doing my music. So with that being said, um, I would like to introduce this video uh, that me and uh, my homeboy uh, Judah Leon did. It's called Brainwash, so check it out. <laughs> Face 
a messiah to the day I'm gone. Right. You can find me on a mat 28 with a mission to seek and to seek the lost. And yes, I can faithfully say I'm grateful that I am grateful. I used to live in confusion. My mind was renewed and now I see the truth. So you can say I'm brainwashed. I am Back with my man Judah Leon. So what's up? We're in Three Coins right now. If you want to get a good chocolate milkshake, you gotta come to Tampa. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is where we go. This is where we hang out after we're with our homeboy Urban D and our crossover family. So, anyways, um, what's been going on with me, Judah Leon? That's the primary thing. Um, you know, it's kind of like a name that stuck with me for a while, Judah the Lion, and. Uh, and so Judah Leon, just another way of saying Judah the Lion. Nothing uh, too crazy about it. Um, currently, right now, I'm definitely working on some uh, new material. Um, I'm working on a, a, a new installment of the uh, the Repo Man Chronicles. It's called Broken World. So um, you know we'll be taking care of that, and uh, hopefully you guys will be able to hear it soon. Um, and really just trying to define myself more as an artist. You know, not necessarily just a uh, hip hop, but you know. Um, uh, contemporary worship and, and, and not, not being in a box but just doing whatever the Lord uh, wants me to do through the music so you guys got some exciting stuff coming uh, your way Taking the mothers, I keep them walking. Shorts for heavy, I'm steadily living. I take it from 
from us to the most omnipotent walk. Different. Don't step on my toes, I got somewhere to go when I talk. Different. That's what the cold out speaks when I'm talking in the middle of the night when the army rode in. Strong in the city of Dover. Looking for the man of God that has spoken. The world's your trouble and the king of the serene forces. God has a gun up in the morning. Flood enemy when the tent was open. Woke your lies and said this is the end. He said the smoke was thus the risk of death. That's when the Lord opened his eyes and in an instant. He saw the horses made of fire in the distance. The sound of thunder in the valley from the hoofs pounded. The same enemy. Lion of Zion, you see the semi-automatic weaponry that is dumping now. The only way to live is by dying, and you too can be a war hammer that'll swing the bring the war tumbling down. why I really like Am and Judah's music. It's one thing to have a hot music video, but can they rock the crowd when they're live? That's up next. What's up, Soul Mag TV? We're back. We got the live concert footage from Sunday Night Vibe. Am and Judah, check them out. So you are drafted right now. As of right now, you've been drafted, but I'm reminding you, 
As of right now, you were drafted into the army of the Lord. Amen. Amen. This song is called Frontline Rock. Remind y'all, y'all need to be on the yeah. frontline. Lord God, we lift up the persecuted church in Asia, persecuted church in Indonesia, and in India, in Cuba. Oh God, have your way, Lord God. Let your glory go throughout all the earth. All those that are on the front lines. Yes. Jesus. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're worthy, Lord. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I'm on the front line. I'm on the front line. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. 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 Soldiers on my left. Warriors on my right. Got my sword in my hand. Best believe I'm in a fight. Covered in the blood. Show far flowing. Christ is the king. Yeah, I'm fighting for his glory on the front line. I'm on the front line. I'm on the front line. I'm on the front line. Yeah. Tell them about faith, Nathan Nova. Oh, I think I could do that. Faith takes action, so I'm acting like an activist. I'm in the book of acts, staying stressed, reading active it. Passionately, passionately, yeah. no blast and facts and jacket. In this moment, it's nagging, spiritual magnet, and best to cast it where we live. Revolutionary action. Every time that I speak, in the world of universal deceit. Speaking to the trees and his feet. And I'm a deep shout and bring it up now. And so we're gonna fall in defeat. Because if I fall out of the can do all things in Christ, you straight this me. And I'm back on my feet like, uh oh. Bring that thing back. Step to me again. Yeah, I dare you to attack. I'm saying, uh oh. Destined to prevail, Christ on my side, no, I cannot fail. Saying, oh, oh, oh. the war ain't over, the hold it. Shows up with a warrant, the bullets all under arrest. Answer the belly, deception, and yes, if the death will be put to death. No escape from the wrath of the land, unless. You've been covered by the blood of the end, I've been in the trouble, and the double is in trouble, and I'm pushing every other of existence. Soldiers on my left, warriors on my right, got my sword in my hand. Best believe I'm in a fight, covered in the blood. Show far flowing. Christ is the king, yeah, I'm fighting for his glory on the front line. I'm on the front line. Yeah. Hey. I'm on the front line. I'm on the front line. One more yeah. time, one more time. Soldiers on my left, warriors on my right. Go ahead, Judah. Yeah. My soul is burning in the furnace of affliction. I'm not deterred, I'm not going to turn from this mission. My heart is burning with this world that we live in. They try to tell me that this is my home, but it isn't. I don't fit in. It's kind of awkward, ain't it? But I'm just a canvas. He's the one who painted. And I'm just a bullet. He's the one who aims it. War hammer coming through the air. He's the one who swing it. Hit the enemy, hit me opportunity because of my community. He's killing them alive. And I'm thinking they're right, and they're thinking that they're right, and they're thinking that they just go slide. But they really don't know about the one and only Lord is coming with a fire in his eyes. Turn from the pride that he bought with a price. And make enemies that are still with me to the mob. And I really want to let him know my confidence ain't in this sword that's rusted. Though he slay me, I will trust him. Though he crush me, I will love him. Because he was crushed first. Lord, put me on the front line so I can rush first. Soldiers on my left. Warriors on my right, got my soul in my hand. Let's believe I'm in a fight. Covered in the blood, show far flowing. Christ is the king, yeah, I'm fighting for his glory on the front line. I'm on the front line. I'm on the front line. I'm on the front line. Soldiers on my left. Warriors on my right, got my sword in my hand. Best believe I'm in the fight. Covered in the blood, show far blowing. Christ is the king, yeah, I'm fighting for his glory on the front line. I'm on the front line. Man, I love those dudes. Am and Judah had a lot of great time I've spent with them, conversations, chopping it up at the uh, Three Coins Diner. That's the spot we always go and chill at. 
And if you were able to hear even more of their testimony, they're both prodigal sons, uh, really like I was as well. And I love that story in the Bible that Jesus tells in, in Luke chapter 15. And, and Jesus tells a story about this, this son that you know, was, was running the family business with the family and he got to be 18 years old or he got to be an adult. And he said to his dad, he said, hey man, I want my inheritance. I want what's, what's rightfully mine, what's due to me. I want my college fund, whatever. And took that money and he bounced, he left. And he spent it all up, uh, was partying, was wilding out. Like he went to Vegas or something and just you know, gambled it all away. Suddenly had all these friends, but then as soon as the money was going, he looked around, nobody was there, nobody was left. And he was struggling, he was hurt, he was all messed up. Eventually he dropped his pride. He said, man, I'm gonna go back home. I disgraced my family and I messed up really bad. I don't even deserve to be called a son anymore, but I'm gonna go back home. Maybe my dad will let me like cut the grass and work in the yard and just be a servant. Um, you know, I can live in a little shack in the back of the property, not even in the house. Um, so he has this whole speech planned out of what he's gonna say to his dad when he gets back about how he's just so sorry and he doesn't even deserve to be called his son. And so he, he's coming home, he's, he's walking up the sidewalk and his pop sees him from a distance and is like, my son. And, and he runs to him with, with open arms and he embraces him. And right away the son tries to start with his speech. Dad, I'm so sorry, I know I messed up, I don't even deserve it. And his, his dad is like, yo, just be quiet, chill. My, my son is back, I love you, I'm so glad to see you, this is amazing, it's awesome. You know, he, he grabs his, his cell phone, he's, he's calling all his friends, he's like, yo, my son is back, we're having a big party, I'm taking everybody out for dinner tonight, it's gonna be amazing. And he says, son, come on, I'm gonna take you to the mall, we're gonna go and get you a new suit, and I'm gonna get you a family ring, get you some new shoes. My son is home. My son who was lost is now found. My son who was blind can now see. My son who was dead is now alive. And so that, that's a beautiful story. If you've never read it before, look at it and, and read it, and do some background research and some study on it in the study Bible. Uh, but in essence, that story, the moral of it, Jesus is the one telling the story, telling the parable. He's saying, that story is all about your heavenly father. And you know who the prodigal runaway son is? It's me, it's you, it's us. We've all messed up. We've all done some things that we shouldn't have. And sometimes we feel like God is up there and he's just gonna get us. But ultimately as if we're sons and daughters of him, God is there with open arms saying, come on, come back home. I got you, I got you, it's, it's okay. Come back home. And it's a beautiful love story. So you might be watching this today watching Soul Mag TV, watching A.M. and Judah, and the artists that we had and say, man, you know, I was on point with God at one point in my life, but I've really been messing up. And man, I don't know if I can ever really get my life back on track with God. I don't know if God can ever use me. Look at me today, y'all. God can use you. God has a plan for you. Look throughout the scripture and you see so many stories of people that messed up and God, they came, drew them back home. They came back home and God used them in incredible ways. So come back home today. Come back home, prodigal sons, prodigal daughters. God loves you, he's still got a plan for you.